I was on posting for the Canadian Foreign Service in Costa Rica uh, at the time that the wall came down, but I was in fact on a regional trip because it was also part of our accreditation to Nicaragua. So I was in Managua, Nicaragua when I heard the news and I was very much overcome by emotion because I had not expected this. And as a teenager or slightly older, I had visited Germany and in fact, my family, my uncle and, uh, and my cousins took me to look across the border. And there was a sign there that said, and I still have the slide, I was so moved I took the photo, it said, Wir glauben an ein ganzes und freies Deutschland, which means we believe in an entire and free Germany. And I thought, oh, that would be such a dream if that really happened. So there I was as a young diplomat in Nicaragua and I got the news and I, I had goose flesh, I had uh, bumps, goosebumps. And what made it even more interesting is that I had happened to meet an East German diplomat uh, in Managua uh, the day before. And of course, what happened to the East German diplomats is basically they were all, they were all cashiered. They all lost uh, their jobs because there was one unified foreign ministry then. So I think about that time uh, very often and certainly when uh, I was ambassador to Germany because our embassy is built right where the wall was. So the wall has always been an important part of uh, my life and my thinking about human rights, uh, about freedom, uh, about the tremendous challenges that Europe has faced in its history, and also of Canada's contribution to, to rectifying uh, those, those particular challenges in, uh, in two world wars and afterwards during the Cold War. And I have a number of chunks of the Berlin Wall in my office just to, just to remind me. So uh, for me, it's something that is very, very vivid in my memory and it's something that I have passed on to my children as well. Thank you.